Well, now more on Tuesday's big news. The F-35 Hybrid Product Support Integrator Organization that will bring hundreds of new jobs to Wright Path. City development experts say this will have a tremendous impact on the entire Miami Valley. Two News reporter Deborah Bogard joins us from Wright Path with more. It was a bipartisan effort from Ohio lawmakers to bring the mission here to Wright Patterson Air Force Base because it's uniquely qualified to handle a project at this caliber. But the positive effects will be felt far beyond the gates. Wright Patterson Air Force Base is Ohio's top single site employer with almost 30,000 jobs and will soon see the growth of 400 more. But Fairborn City Manager Rob Anderson says it will likely not stop there. We have a lot of defense contractors that are located right outside the fence in Fairborn, so we've noticed the ebb and flow of those defense contractors as contracts come in. So we'll see, hopefully, with this, like we do in the past, uh, some of those folks ramp up their employment. And with any project of this magnitude, the effect will be felt all. All across the Miami Valley. For every one job, three to five indirect jobs take place. So it's as simple as, you know, when people move into this community, they're going to buy houses, uh, they're going to go shopping, um, they're going to go to our schools. The United States Air Force says Wright Pat was the top contender for the new F 35 hybrid product support integrator organization for a number of reasons affordability, location, and acquisition of workforce. Jeff Hoagland of Dayton Development Coalition agrees. He says beyond the creation, Creation of at least 400 jobs. It is a vote of confidence in the workforce, community, and the state of Ohio. Best aircraft in the world. It's not just a 20 year program, it's a 50 year program. Both Ohio legislators and Hoagland said in the future it's likely that more jobs will be added, as well as more opportunities at nearby universities that will train for these highly paid, highly intellectual jobs. Reporting at Wright Patterson Air Force Base, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.